the streets of Lagos now looking deserted. On a typical day, Lagos is usually characterized by busy streets and massive traffic jam. But it has absolutely been its vibes opposite since the federal government's lockdown order. And it's day nine of the Lagos lockdown following the outbreak of the novel coronavirus disease. And this is what the third mainland bridge is looking like. Almost empty with very little human and vehicle movement. In the Bagada area of Lagos, residents look at the brighter side to the lockdown. To them, this is exercise time. I've really been an exercise kind of person, except that I play football every Saturday. But um, this lockdown has um, made me start exercising every day, and it's been helpful. I use this to keep my sanity. So ever since the 14 days lockdown, I've been well. The lockdown has affected me by eating more than the way I normally do on a normal day. So it's, I know uh, with this coronavirus, exercise can help you to build your immune. So in the mornings like this, what I do, I come out on the street in my estate, just on the street. From the beginning of the end of the street to the end is one kilometer. So we've measured it, we've done the calculation. And so if you can do 10 laps of it to and fro, that's 20 kilometers in a day. That's much. And, and so when we started it, we saw you know, a lot of people come out and like, we jog, we do aerobics, maintaining social distance. And then um, we usually don't do more than six, seven at a time. You know? and, and so we discovered that a lot of people you know, also want to join when they see the flexibility in it. And so we called it our quarantine group. Whilst maintaining social distancing and hand washing hygiene, these Nigerians say the 14 day lockdown is not all gloomy. So, while well, I agree that within the lockdown period, you know, there is hunger, but we should also remember that hunger has always been with us. So, it's not new, it's not novel. And, and so, to that extent, let's not just focus on the hunger, but the fact that we are trying to avoid the disease. Because, like they say, if you do not move, coronavirus will not move. And, and so to that extent, create activities, learn something. For those that have laptops that you can afford, this is your internet data, learn something online. On the other side of Lagos, at Putameta, the streets are buzzing with people. Residents visibly dissatisfied with the continued stay-at-home order without adequate welfare. They can't wait to have their livelihoods back. I'm not going to stay 14 days now. You get the thing don't become another thing. I the para, I never job since yesterday. Now ball at the play. Eh, so they make myself they happy. Eh, for this country, what's in the happen? Go. They don't need to stay at home with. So a lot of like now, people are coming now because it's not easy staying at home. My sister didn't tire me nothing. I don't get anything to say. They make me go gaga. No food, no money, nothing, nothing. Salt, self, sugar to take drink, or nothing. They say that they share money. I think my own account, no they don't I didn't go check my ATM, maybe they don't say anything there. I never see anybody where they say collect self. I understand. With the money, even the one where individuals donate, we don't know where you enter. This uh, virus, where they talk about self? Hungry, big pass, I'm Understand? No virus, where big pass, hungry. Because I'm told, I'm going to go to the I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm I will take the job. All fingers are all fingers are not equal. Some people on a daily ba daily basis when they come back and then they get waiting, waiting them get the job. One thing that will not be taking it away is the fact that Lagosians cannot wait to heat the streets of Lagos again. From the third mainland bridge in Lagos, Nigeria. Mary Chinda reporting for Plus TV Africa.